Hello and welcome back to another video. Now before we begin uh, this video, I highly recommend you to watch this chemistry paper 6 video because this has covered all of the important separation techniques, some common past paper questions that you need to know for paper 6. Basically, it's going to be a quick review to help you ace paper 6. And if you are done with that, then we can move on to this video where we'll focus on planning question from the latest exam papers. Let's start let's quickly review how do we solve or tackle these kind of questions first it's a good idea to learn all the apparatus beforehand know the common chemistry techniques and the apparatus used in them for example uh, for rusting electroplating electrolysis and especially the separation techniques you, uh, you can be asked to analyze by using formula so you can review the formulas as well for example the percentage composition by mass and then when you want to solve it first of all identify the method and the apparatus needed you can mention the apparatus while you're explaining the process and then how are you going to do that method explain logically think of what are you going to do how are you going to solve that while you're in the lab what are your control variables what are the apparatus that you're using and all of that and then uh, finally after you have described the process make sure to mention that you are repeating it at least three times and then taking the average to have more accurate results and then finally how are you going to analyze those results are you going to make a table are you going to uh, show it with the formula are you going to observe a change all of that let's start with um, the latest question from may june 2025 okay so magnesium sulfate is a salt magnesium sulfate is soluble in water the solubility of salt is the mass of a salt in grams that dissolves 100 centimeter cube of water okay so if you have um, a beaker let's say and it has 100 centimeter cubes of water what is the mass in grams of salt that can be divided that can be dissolved at a specific temperature okay so this is the solubility of salt you're supposed to plan an investigation to determine solubility of magnesium sulfate okay so now your salt is magnesium sulfate and you and you need to know its solubility in water at 50 degrees celsius so your plan must include how the solubility um, of magnesium sulfate in gram per 100 centimeter cube of water can be found you're provided with sol solid magnesium sulfate distilled water and common laboratory apparatus okay so if you think logically let's draw it to understand it okay and then we can um, write it in steps after that it's a good idea to think logically and make a plan how are you going to do it so let's say you will use a burette to add 100 centimeter cube of water also think of the apparatus that you're using 100 centimeter cube of distilled water right in a beaker let's say and then you have to uh, make sure that the temperature is 50 degree right so add it in a water bath this is going to be added in a water bath you can use an electrical water bath and then also you can also write safety precautions using water bath that make sure that you're using gloves while handling and then when you're using water bath make sure that you leave it in for a couple of minutes for the temperature to reach 50 degrees okay reach 50 degrees celsius and then uh okay let's say now 100 centimeter cube of water has reached 50 degrees celsius you can if this is not electrical you can even add a thermometer to see if this has reached um uh, 50 degrees celsius now you're going to add uh your your magnesium sulfate and you will keep adding it until it no longer dissolves okay so let's say you'll have um, a test um, a petri dish maybe and you have magnesium sulfate measure the mass you need to know the mass of magnesium sulfate right to know how much you are adding know the uh, mass of magnesium sulfate and then you can uh, you don't you will not include the mass of petri dish so on your digital balance first measure the mass of petri dish and then measure add your magnesium sulfate crystals and then measure the mass again find the difference to know the exact mass of magnesium sulfate okay then add make sure it's in excess okay have a lot of it add the magnesium sulfate in the water and mix it up okay since it's in excess you will notice that after some time um, you will have some magnesium sulfate which is not dissolved like this you will have a solution of water and magnesium sulfate but then some of the magnesium sulfate is not dissolved this is an excess so you're going to filter this out filter out magnesium sulfate and then measure the mass and then you're going to subtract it from the original one let's say you let's say for example you added 50 grams 
and uh, 20 grams is remaining so the mass used is 50 grams minus 20 grams let's say th it's 30 grams okay i hope that's clear 30 grams of mass was used so the solubility you can say solubility of magnesium sulfate is 30 gram per 100 centimeter cube this is your solubility 30 grams per 100 centimeter cube because they're asking you to find how the solubility of magnesium sulfate in grams per 100 centimeter cube of water can be found and then you can even mention that repeat this experiment at least three times and find the average of the solubility to get the most accurate result measure 100 centimeter cube distilled water using burette and pour it in a beaker place this beaker in an electrical water bath set at 50 degrees celsius Leave for a couple of minutes to reach the required temperature for safety wear protective gloves and use tongs while handling the apparatus then take excess magnesium sulfate crystals in a petri dish and measure the mass as m1 using a digital balance subtract mass of petri dish by measuring the mass of the dish first while stirring add magnesium sulfate crystals excess magnesium sulfate will not dissolve then you're going to filter out the undissolved excess magnesium sulfate crystals and measure the mass m2 the mass of crystal dissolved is m3 which is found by subtracting m1 from m2 the solubility is mass m3 of magnesium sulfate which dissolved in 100 centimeter cube of water you can look at the answer in this marking scheme let's move on to another uh, question from may june okay so in this question basically sodium hydrogen carbonate is reacted with hydrochloric acid and then uh, you will notice that the there is a decrease in temperature because the temper the heat is going in okay but then when you also react solid sodium hydrogen carbonate with ethanoic acid you also observe that the uh, temperature is reducing you have to measure in which of these experiments is there a greater redu a reduction in temperature. So when you're carrying out this experiment, you have to make sure that you are using the same mass of hydrogen carbonate. So first, you're going to have um, two containers, and then you will measure the, you will have a known mass of NaH CO3. And then you have to use um, the two acids, right? So you will um, have two beakers. And in one of the beaker, you will add a known volume and concentration of hydrochloric acid. And in the second one, also, you will have this. You will have the same volume and concentration of ethanoic acid. Okay. How are you going to measure the volume? Use you can be right. Then pour the known volume inside this. Okay. And then you, you will keep a temperature, uh, a thermometer inside to know the initial temperature T1. Okay. After you know this temperature, you're, you're going to add your uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate inside the first um, beaker and you will record the temperature change you will do that by recording the lowest temperature call this as t t2 so the change in temperature is basically the initial temperature t1 minus t2 and then you're going to repeat this experiment with um ethanoic acid as well and you will measure t1 the initial temperature and t2 is the final temperature so the uh, change in temperature is again going to be t1 minus t2 and then you will compare which of these have a greater reduction in temperature okay if uh, the first one has a greater reduction in temperature that means this reaction sodium hydrogen carbonate with hydrochloric is acid is more endothermic now in order to uh, increase the accuracy you can re increase uh, repeat this experiment multiple times at least three times let's write this down take equal and known masses of sodium hydrogen carbonate into a petri dish measure the mass using digital balance and subtract the mass of the petri dish then using a burette add known volume and concentration of hydrochloric acid in a polystyrene cup add the same volume and concentration of ethanoic acid in, in another polystyrene cup measure the initial temperature of t1 of hydrochloric acid using a thermometer which is dipped inside this acid and then add sodium hydrogen carbonate while stirring Record T2 as the final temperature, which is the temperature after reacting. This is going to be the lowest temperature. Change in temperature is T1 minus T2. Now you're going to repeat these steps from step 2 to step 5 for ethanoic acid. The reaction with a greater value for delta T, that means it has a bigger decrease in temperature, is more endothermic. You can look at the answers over here in this marking scheme. And that's all.